here today with Hannah Carney, the 2010 Olympic gold medalist and women's moguls. Hi Hannah, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. So how has life changed since you won the gold medal? I'm a little bit busier. Uh, as a gold medalist, there are a few more demands on your time in a good way. People uh, appreciate your accomplishment and ask you for a few more interviews, a few more um, appearances, a few more talks. But otherwise, my goals and everything I'm doing is the same. I'm training. I'm continuing to attempt to win competitions. Um, I've introduced a little bit of school into my life, uh, but otherwise, skiing is still it. So you're about ready to start the World Cup season. You talked about how your goals are the same. What do you hope to accomplish this year? I, there are 13 competitions. I mean, ideally, I would like to win them all. Um, my goal is actually just to ski at the top of my ability level uh, at every single competition. So to ski consistently and to push myself so that my new comfort zone becomes a little bit faster, my jumps a little bit bigger, um, otherwise I won't be getting any better and you, that's when you retire. So this season marks the halfway mark to the 2014 Olympics. Are those games already figuring into your approach and training or, or are they sort of out, of out of sight, out of mind? Um, the 2014 Olympics are a goal of mine, that's what I'm working towards, and I figured, um, say you end up retiring before the, the, that Olympics, you still, up until that point, need to make that your goal, because it's not just something you decide the day before, oh, I think I'll compete in the Olympics, so yes, every day I have that in my mind, the 2014 Olympics, defending my title, but there are also a lot of competitions between now and then, so um, in, from that point of view, it's sort of day by day. What can I do today to get better at skiing? Um, what training do I need to do? And how do I do ski well at the next competition? Okay. And just the other day, you put in your order for a pair of new good ski poles so you can compete with them this year on the World Cup circuit. Why do you prefer good poles? I love good poles. I can't exactly articulate what it is that makes them better, but it's a feeling. When I have them in my hands, I remember the first time I held them, I think it was in 2006, I just thought, I feel like a better skier. It's something about the shaft is really, really light and the grip is um, st substantial enough that it feels to me um, like I could just flick my pole weightlessly, whereas oftentimes poles to me feel like just a dead stick in my hand and I like the feeling that good poles are slightly more dynamic. So you mentioned the weight difference. Good poles are generally about 30% less, uh, less heavy than ally poles because of the carbon construction. How does that make a difference in moguls for you, especially in your aerials, I would assume? Yeah, when you're jumping and flipping upside down, you certainly don't want your arms weighted down. Um, you're going to start adding twists to your flips and you're going to have to do arm drops. Your poles are going to be attached to your hands, but if they're weights, it's going to throw you off, weighted, it's going to throw you off balance. So the lighter the better. And as far as the actual skiing goes, you sort of want your hands to be um, not noticed. You want to be as smooth and balanced as possible, so having light poles helps that. Okay. And in, in the past, even for your, your gold medal run, yeah, you, you've had to spray paint your good poles uh, because of some ski team rules about equipment sponsors and all that. But uh, we, we've heard that that might change this year, and so it'll be official that you're using good poles. How does that feel to have one less thing on your preseason <laughs> to-do list? You don't have to spray paint them now. That is, it's a nice thing. It's a, it's a relief because it literally is written right now on a piece of paper in my living room, spray paint my poles. And to cross that off without having to do everything is a treat. <laughs> Okay, thank you for your time, Hannah. Good luck with your upcoming season and the next two years as you get ready to go for gold again. Thanks to everyone and good.